Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to prove that curl grad f is equals to zero. Okay, so here, like I explained you guys before in my previous videos, uh, to find curl of f, we we need to do the gradient cross product with the function because it's saying uh, to find the curl of the function. So here we are going to cross product it with the function. But here we need to find the curl of grad of f. So in this case, the function here is the grad of f, okay? So you're going to replace this f with the grad of f. So then this, this is going to become, so we're finding curl grad f. So uh, this is going to remain the same, the gradient times. So the f is going to replace going to be replaced with the grad of f okay so f itself but not f only it's gonna be the gradient of f okay and that this is what we're trying to prove over here okay so now you guys know already that how do we find the gradient right i have already shown you guys in my videos that um how to find the gradient if you haven't watched that video then go check out my list on Cal3, then you can figure out how to find the gradient. Okay, so for those of you who already saw the video, um, you guys probably know to, to find the gradient, you simply have to do partial derivative with respect to x i hat, and then partial derivative of uh, y, right? Partial derivative with respect to y, and then partial derivative with respect to z, k hat. And this is simply our gradient. And now we need to cross product with, with the gradient of f. So the gradient, we find it simply like this, right? And now we are finding the gradient of f. So we are simply going to add an f here. So partial derivative with respect to x, but of the function f, okay? And then we have the partial derivative function f with respect to y, j hat, i hat and then partial derivative of f with respect to z k hat all right let's do this cross product now okay so first uh, to find cross product you need to write i j k and remember this is positive this is negative and this is positive okay next you need to write since you're doing here the order matters a lot uh, in the cross product since we're do doing gradient times the um, gradient of f so we're going to write the gradient first in the first row and then we're going to write the gradient of f you cannot switch the order otherwise you won't get the right answer okay so in the cross product remember always to follow the order in which the question is written okay so we're going to write this first partial derivative with respect to x partial derivative with respect to y and partial derivative with respect to z and here we have partial derivative of f with respect to x okay and then with y and then with z all right once we have written this now it's simply to find the determinant of this right okay uh, like we do like we find the determinant right it's the same way okay so first we're going to cross out the i section and this one okay so you're crossing out the column of the i and then the row that where the i belongs and what you're left with you're going to cross product it okay so this times this and then negative this times this this is what you're going to do okay so let's try and do this. So let me remove these lines. Okay, so we're crossing out this and we're multiplying this times this. Okay, derivative of y times derivative of z. And then we're putting a negative and then we're multiplying this times this. Okay, partial derivative of z with respect to y. 
okay and this goes in the i hat because it was a positive over here and next it's the j hat and j hat remember it's negative so that's why we're putting a negative over here okay and we're going to do the same thing over here we're, uh, since we're now in the j hat we're going to cross the j hat column and the row of the j hat and what we are left with, we're, we're going to cross multiply this. So this multiplies this, okay? This is going to multiply with this and then negative this times this. This is what we are going to do, okay? So I'm gonna write it over here. Okay, this times this, partial derivative of x with respect to z and then negative this times this z and x okay partial derivative of z times partial derivative of x okay and next we are in the k hat now so this is a positive okay g hat and now we're in the k hat you can write it in the front or at the end it doesn't matter i'm gonna write it at the end since i wrote at the end here Okay, now we're in the j hat, we're going to do the same thing, crossing out the k, the row and column of k, and then we're going to multiply the rest. So this time this, and then negative, this times this, okay? So now, this times this, x times y, and yeah, you guys don't need to write the notes. I will provide the notes in the description below. You can check them out. Okay, so then we're going to do this times this. Partial derivative of y with respect to x. Okay, next. We, this is a double partial derivative, right? So we're going to simply square it. Okay, double partial derivative of f with respect to dy and dz and negative partial squared of dz dy negative partial of f, partial squared of f, partial x, partial uh, z. Okay, I'm simply going to write it. I won't say it. Okay, I forgot the g hat. And then f, x, y, negative, f, y, x. I'm simply multiplying, okay? I'm not doing anything else, so I, I, I'm just multiplying it. That, that's how I got squared. And the rest you guys know. And here, we're almost done here. You just need to know that uh, like I explained you guys before in, in my previous videos, if you guys watch my uh, video for the mixed partial derivatives, derivatives, you guys will know that the order in the mixed partial derivative is irrelevant. Okay, what I mean by that is that if you have partial derivative squared, okay, let me make it a little bit thick. Okay, so if you have like partial squared of f with respect to dy dz this is equal to partial derivative uh, partial squared of f with respect to dy dz so these are exactly the same thing uh, you're differentiating with respect to y first and then z and here you're differentiating with z and then y but these are exactly the same thing so you are going to use this over here so you see y and z and here is dy so they're exactly the same thing so then means we're subtracting from the same thing so this gives us zero then and similarly here you see x x z z x so this is zero uh, zero also and then here it's the same thing zero so then hence it's proven that call grad f is equals to zero and that was it for the problem uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. Thanks for watching. Bye.